Hey, welcome to our channel. We're the Spellmore Institute in Accra, Ghana, and today we're talking black inventors. And our special focus in this video is on the amazing Dr. Marion Rogers Croak, an American tech pioneer. Dr. Croak was born in Pennsylvania on May the 14th, 1955, and was raised in New York City. She is a mother of three now adult children. What inspired her to take up a career as an engineer and inventor? Well, in interviews, she often talks about being deeply impressed with plumbers, electricians, and other workers who would come to her house when things broke. This childhood fascination for these clever fixers laid the groundwork for her wanting to have the ability to also fix things or make things better. Her early role models were her high school math and science teachers, and also her father, who encouraged her to pursue her passion for science through as many creative ways as possible, even building a chemistry lab in their home. Awesome. All these influences inspired her to pursue a lifelong career in STEM. Dr. Croak went on to receive her undergraduate degree from Princeton University and her doctorate in social psychology and quantitative analysis from the University of Southern California in 1982. Dr. Croak became a truly prolific and groundbreaking inventor in the voice and data communication fields with over 200 patents. She's best known for developing voice over internet protocols, otherwise known as VoIP. That's the technology that converts your voice into a digital signal, allowing you to make a call directly from a computer or other digital device, which came to the world as Skype. Remember calling your family abroad for the first time over the internet for nearly no money? Well, Dr. Marion Croak gave us that. Dr. Croak's career first took off in 1982 when she joined AT&T Bell Laboratories. There, she served in various positions in voice and data communication for over three decades. Predicting that the internet would take over wire technology, Dr. Croak pushed to develop technology that would transform the internet and switching from wired phone technology to internet protocol. She succeeded by establishing the fundamentals for what is now called VoIP. As her genius and vision were recognised more at AT&T Labs, Dr. Croak took technology to new heights in revolutionary areas, furthering the capabilities of audio and video conferencing for platforms such as Zoom. Yes, Zoom. She invented the technology that enabled voice and text messaging on cellular phones. When AT&T partnered with American Idol to use a text message voting system, 22% of viewers sent text to take part in the show. She filed the patent for text-based donations to charity in 2005, and this revolutionised how people donate money to charitable organisations. So, for example, after the 2010 Haiti earthquake, at least $22 million was pledged using her technology. Before leaving AT&T Labs in 2014, Dr. Croak held the title of Senior Vice President of Applications and Services Infrastructure. Wow. In this position, she supervised over 2,000 computer scientists and engineers and managed over 500 programs. Dr. Croak currently works for Google as a vice president in the engineering group. In this role, she's responsible for expanding what the internet is capable of doing around the world and increasing access to the internet in the developing world. In an interview about her new role at Google, she says that technology should be designed with people in mind. What I believe very, very strongly is that any technology that we're designing should have a positive impact on society. In addition to receiving over 200 patents, Dr. Croak has won a number of awards, including the 2013 and 2014 Edison Patent Awards. Also in 2013, Dr. Marion Croak was inducted into the Women in Technology International Hall of Fame. And in 2021, it was announced that she would be one of the first two black women, along with Patricia Bath, to be inducted into the National Inventors Hall of Fame after a 50-year history and countless great black inventors. And she was finally inducted into the USA National Inventors Hall of Fame this year in 2022. Dr. Croak also enjoys running and spending time with her family and three children. Thank you, Dr. Croak, and thank you for watching.